The Geo Directory General Settings will show you only the most important settings by default. To show all available settings click the Advanced Settings button in the top right. Restrict WP Admin will restrict the WordPress admin screens per user role. Restricted users trying to view the backend will automatically be redirected to the front page of the site. User deleted posts. When a user deletes a post, it will go to the trash and can be recovered later by an admin. If this option is unchecked the post will be permanently deleted and will not be recoverable. New listing default status. This option determines if user-submitted posts need admin approval or should be instantly published. By default, GeoDirectory will require approval for free posts and automatically publish paid ones. Allow posting without logging in. When checked, this option will allow the submission of listings without the user having to register or log in first. Please note that some hosts that implement aggressive caching may require you to exempt the ad listing URL from caching. Show Preview button. Users adding listings are able to preview their listing before submission. Unchecking this option will remove that preview button. Max upload file size. Here you can set the maximum individual file size that can be uploaded. Please note that all images are output with responsive sizes. This option can be useful if you have limited storage space. No index empty archives. Checking this option will mark category and tag pages that have no listings as no index to search engines. If you run a directory that may have many empty archives, this option can help your SEO. Google Maps API Key If you plan to use Google Maps, you will need an API key. You will find a detailed guide on how to obtain one on our documentation site. Without a Google API key, your site will default to using the free OpenStreetMaps API. Google Geocoding API Key When importing listings our system will try to fill in any missing address or geolocation info. If your main Google API key is restricted to your site URL then these checks will fail, here you can provide an unrestricted API key that can be used via PHP to fill in the missing data. Maps API here you have the option to set the maps API used or disable maps completely. It is recommended to leave this set to automatic. If for some reason the Google API fails to load for a visitor, GeoDirectory will automatically load OpenStreetMaps. Lazy Load Maps This setting gives the options to lazy load maps either, requiring a user to click to load or when scrolled into view. Enabling either one of these options can help improve your Google page speed scores. Default Map Language It's important to set this early as it will determine the language of location URL slugs on your site. Default Marker Icon Here you can set the default map marker icon, this will be used if the listing's main category does not have its own individual map icon set. Enable Map Cache Enabling this will then cache each API request to a JSON file on your server, this can help with speed on sites with many listings. Allow Usage Tracking By default this is disabled, you are given the option to enable it when you complete the setup wizard. You can enable or disable it here at any time.